Bloons Tower Defense is a game about strategy. It's about knowing what towers to place, when to place them, what upgrades to get, what goes well together. And so today we're throwing all of that out the window. All of it. It's gone. Goodbye. Mwah. This is no longer a game about strategy. It is a game about pure luck because we've turned balloons into a lucky block game. So the way it works is actually quite simple. As you can see over here, we now have a new selection of towers ranging from number zero to five with some mysteries. Now, the way it works is the number represents the tier that you're going to get. So as you can see, the only thing we can afford right now is a T0, which means we are guaranteed to get a random. And they go and get periodically more expensive as you progress. So a random T5 is gonna cost $43,000. Now, when I buy this, it could get me the Legend of the Night, which is like $240,000. Or it could get me like Crossbow Master, which is only $20,000. So it's completely random what tier you're going to get or what tower. And of course, over here, we now have the random tier light as well as the random tier, which this means that you can get anything. You could get, you spend $6,000, you could get a dart monkey or you could get a true sun god temple. You don't know. And today we're going to be seeing if we can beat round 100 using this mod. If you guys want to see more lucky block based stuff, make sure to hit that like button. All right, let's jump into it. Let's see what we get for our first tower. Our TZ tower is a mortar monkey. How much does a mortar monkey cost? $500, that's not bad, but uh, it's not great. And also, I am not allowed to ever upgrade my towers normally. So what I get is what I get. I'm not allowed to upgrade them. Now, I'd love to get, a, oh my gosh, how did that get by? Uh, what? It's so inactive, the base mortar monkey is so inaccurate. Okay, we have another T0. Let's just throw it down like a little, let's get it down right here. Let's get just a base bomb shooter. Not great, a lot of explosives. A lot of explosives. Base bomb shooter is also not great. Like, how much is that? That's 565. So, that's actually a relatively reasonable price, I think. I think what I really want to start saving up to is the T1. Because T1s now have a really awesome thing. Is that it's not going to give us just one upgrade. Is It has a chance of giving us a 1-1 one, one upgrade. Right? So, we could get like a 1-1 one, one bomb shooter. Or a 1-1 one, one village. Or something along those lines. So, right now, we can, we're can we weak against black balloons, and we're weak against camo balloons. Alright, so those are two things that we are not really prepared for. Do I want to just get another T0? I can, if I want to, sell these towers to try to get a little bit of money back, but it's really not that great trying to sell some towers. I might do that later when I'm desperate and I want to try to level up or just get something quickly. For now, I think... I think our best bet is to get a T1, because T0s, it's just like, man, you could get so many bad things, and T0s are not going to carry me that far. But if I get a T1, which we're going to go for right now, come on, hopefully we can get something really good from here. Oh my gosh, a quick shot. I'm, I think I got to sell this. I think I have to sell this. It's a T1 dart monkey with quick shots. I just spent a thousand dollars on that, and I can get it for free. Okay, that's so bad. I have to sell it, and I have to try to get another one down. Please be something better than a base dart monkey. <sighs> Do I just... Monkey business? I think that might get me a 10% discount to everything around it, though. So it might actually make things a little bit cheaper when I buy lucky blocks. It might make the lucky blocks 10% cheaper, which could be crazy on the higher upgrades. So this might be something good. This might, this might be something we could try out. Do we want to, do we want to like do the math and see if that actually works? Or do we want to just blindly trust it? I need something that can pop some balloons. I need some better popping power here. I think I'm going to sell this bomb shooter. Oh, the bomb shooter is actually doing kind of good. Like compared to the, like, it's actually about the same as the mortar monkey, but okay. It's bad. I got to I got to sell it. I gotta sell it. Please give me something that I can use. Another mortar monkey? Are you kidding me? What is this luck? Where's where's a dartling gunner or a super monkey or a heli pilot or attack shooter or anything? Give me a break here. Okay, I'm selling this. Give me another. I'm I'm going all in. I'm selling everything to get a T2 tower. Oh my god, it just gave me a glue gunner. You guys gotta be kidding me. All right, I'm selling everything. I I'm just getting a T2. Just please. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, it's epic range and ultra vision. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We're back in the game. We're back in the game. Oh my gosh. Okay, 
We can't hit lead balloons, but we can hit camo balloons. We have knockback, and we have epic range. This is actually the best case scenario. Okay, I would love to get some money making. That's something that I'm really trying to get my hands on. If I can get my hands on some form of money making, like a, a banana farm, that would be great. So we're gonna save up for a T3, okay? We're looking for banks. All right, bank would be amazing. We're looking for marketplace. That would be amazing. We're looking for merchant men. That would be amazing. Any any T3 super monkey, amazing, okay? Uh, we need cam. We need lead popping as well. If this T3 is a merchantman with flaming hot shots, I would be ecstatic. Like, I would be so ecstatic to be able to get that. I think that would be such a valuable thing to have. $3,000 for this seems a bit pricey. If you, oh, okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get something here. Please be a lead popping. A double shot ninja. I have to sell it, I because I can't pop it. Uh, I'm, oh my gosh, random tier light. Please be something that can pop leads. Dragon's breath! Yes! Yes! Oh my gosh, that's so good! Oh my gosh, he gave us a T3. We bought the random tier. I totally forgot that this is a thing, and that's amazing. We can pop, uh, we can't pop lead camos, but we can pop quite a bit of balloons right now, and I'm pretty happy with that. Do we want to try to get a random tier here? Is that what we want to do? Because this costs $3,000, but it could give us anything. It could give us literally anything. It could just give us a base start monkey. And it could also give us a T5. And I have no there's I have no idea what we could be getting ourselves into. But it did give us this, this Dragon's Breath, which is actually really solid. So I think I might be worth taking a risk for it. Are we going to risk it for the biscuit? I'm down. Let's just give it a try. Let's see if we can get something good. And a triple shot dart monkey. Is that worth it? I'm going to just hold on to it. Like, it's not it's not really that great. Was it worth 3000 Definitely not. Uh, is it worth, is it good? If I need to, we can sell it. Like, I think that's a good thing. Like, if we need to, I can sell it. But right now, I don't think we really need to sell it. T4 is $8,000, right? And that's an, ex that is an expensive investment. That is quite spooky. Uh, camo leads are still a problem. I'd like to get, like, an MID or something. So we can buy the T3 right now. And that seems pretty good. But a T4, but the T4 doesn't... Like, $8,000 for a T4, like, most T4s are not going to be $4,000. I mean, some of those are going to be really good. But some of these are not going to be that great. I think we just save up for a T4 anyways. We might get lucky, right? We could get a banana research facility. That is a possibility, right? I'd love to make... And T4 is when you start getting abilities on things if you get middle path. So we could get Elite Sniper. Oh, great. Luckily, we have the Ultra Vision or the Knockback, which pushes back... Moabs as well, so it slows them and gives us a little bit of extra room and time. So these two are actually, I'm not going to sell either of these. These two are carrying me. This guy, I definitely will consider selling in the near future. All right, so let's let's just try to get a T4, and let's just see what happens here, right? Let's just see what a T4 tower is going to look like for us in three, two, one, boom. Ooh, a balloon jitsu. How much does that cost? 2,000? Ooh, that is not good. But that's more camo detection, and it has counter espionage. So that is, that's not bad. And it can push balloons back. It, it, we could have had a much worse option. Much, much worse option. Let's go for another random tier light and let's see if this gets us anything good. Dartling Gunner, no, that's so, that's so bad. I'm selling that. Let's get another random tier light. And, ooh, just Crow's Nest. That's also bad. I'm gonna sell it. I think I just save up for another T4. I think we're really trying to get our hands on lead camo popping and if we don't have any lead camo popping we are in really big trouble because i think they're gonna pop up kind of soon uh, worst case scenario if those pop up and i can't deal with it i can always sell some of these towers and try to just get some some good rolls and just try to get a little bit lucky here it's coming up very soon right camo and of course ddts are going to be quite a problem quite a problem all right we have another t4 option come on get me something good three two one and Oh my gosh, we got a specter. It doesn't have camo detection though. No. Okay, but that's insane that we got a specter. That is so good, but no camo detection. So we still are in the same problem not being able to hit lead camos. We need a village. We need a village. Do we just try to get a village? Do we just spam some T2s or T3s? I like the idea of spamming some T3s down like right around here and trying to get an MIB village or something with of, of that nature. Drew to the jungle. Very good option. 
kind of expensive for that, but I'll still take it. Let's try a random tier. So there's a random tier light, which is a cheap version of it, and then random tier, which means we can get any tower. This is truly a lucky block. This is truly, we have no idea what we're getting ourselves into. Let's run it. Let's put it in a good spot, though. This seems like a pretty good spot, and... Oh, a monkey commerce village. Oh my god. I was so excited for a second when I saw the village. I got so excited. One more time. Primary mentoring, but we don't have any primary towers. And we don't have camera detection on it. Stop teasing me, village. Stop teasing me with all of these good options. All right, one more time. I never miss targeting. That's also really good. That's really, really good, but no lead camo. All right, I gotta, we have to get lead camo like now. Without it, we are in big trouble. Let's just try to get some villages. Okay, T2s. Bad. Uh, banana farm. I'm gonna keep it just because I need money. Uh, that's more camo, but not enough. Oh, this has monkey sets, but it can't hit camos! It can't hit lids! Um... Man, lead camos are really not looking good for us right now. Alright, come on. Night vision goggles, but it can't hit leads. I'm gonna go for another T4 here. Is this banana farm worth saving? Is that gonna make me enough money? Is it gonna pay for itself? I'm just gonna hold on to it. Like it makes me a little bit of money. Please, I'm begging you guys, get me something good. I'm gonna put it in a prime real estate location. Balloon area denial system, it's so good. I have to keep it, but okay, I can't, okay, I have to, I have to get something that can pop this. Uh, let's sell, let's sell this, okay. Random tier. Give me a random tier, please. Nope. Okay. One more random tier. Oh my gosh, a dark knight. Okay, sell. Sell. Please, one more random tier. No, random tier. Oh my gosh. We can't... Uh, Alright, we're gonna have to continue here. Alright, we have dark knight. We have to get something that can hit like cambos. Like, this has been our problem the whole time. Alright, T3's possibility. It doesn't have ultra vision. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on. T2s. I think a T3 is still our best bet. That can't hit camos. A banana plantation is great, but it can't hit camos. T1. Alchemist. Okay, who can we sell? That guy I really want to keep. I really want to keep all of these. These are all very good options to have. But I only have $2,000, so I might have to make some sacrifices here. I would say the balloon area denial system does more work overall. I hate having to sell this guy. What is better? The Robo Monkey? Oh, but this guy gives you way more money. $6,000. All right, another T3. Nothing. Another T3. Come on. Oh my gosh, it doesn't have lead popping! No leg! Oh my gosh. I am... We're getting absolutely annihilated here. It has lead popping, but a no camo detection. Submerge and support. Oh, wait, 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 submerge. Now it now it can decamo them. This can decamo balloons. And if it deca and it can decamo them? Yes! We can pop leads now! Oh my gosh, I'm so oh we got it. We got a oh my gosh, we actually got it. Okay, okay. We had to we had to pinch. We had to we had to pinch and save. To be able to get there. I think we have the possibility to save up for a T5 tower now. Which I know sounds kind of wild. But I think that's what we're going to have to do. This is the only camo detection that we have is this submerging support actually. Which is really scary. Uh, luckily we do have this specter which is very strong. Is it going to be able to deal with DDTs? No chance. But we do have a banana farm. A banana plantation. Which is, that's so nice. To be able to make just a little bit of money here. Do I want to try to get some random tiers? I think we just save up for a T5. Really expensive, I know. $43,000. Super crazy. But it's probably not going to be worth it, in all honesty. But we can always sell it. And we can always downgrade. I think you lose like 20% or something. I don't know exactly how much you lose when you sell a tower. I wish I knew. We're a little bit under halfway. But we're still ramping up our way to being able to get our first T5 tower. We should be able to get a T5 before round 8. Fingers crossed. I would love some better camo detection because otherwise the DDTs are just going to ruin us. Because a DD, this a Spectre is the only thing we have for DDTs right now. I guess Dragon's Breath once we decamo them, right? But relying on a T3 monkey sub for round 95 does not sound like a very smart strategy. I'm kind of putting 
everything, and I mean everything on the line for this T5 tower. All right, let's think about it. We need innate camo detection on it. Spirit of the Forest with Top Path, I would take. I mean, any Super Monkey would be really cool. I don't really want any primaries. I think, like, any magic would be really good. If I get a T5 banana farm, that would be wild. A T5 banana farm would be so gnarly if we could get our hands on that. Specifically, I would love... I would love either middle or bottom path. I don't know. Oh my gosh! Okay, we're fine. These balloons are being... Okay, we can get ourselves our first T5. Please be something. $43,000 in three, two, one, go! Ultra boost. That is so good, but so bad. Okay, I can start ultra boosting stuff now, though. I mean, that's a $77,000. And we have cleansing foam! Wait, wait, wait. This is actually... Okay, this is actually not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. We can ultra boost banana farm to make more money, too. This is not the worst thing that we could have gotten. We're going to round 100, though. We gotta see if we can actually make it the, all the way. I'm just gonna keep ultra boosting this banana farm. Do, all right, I'm gonna go... I'm just gonna go for a random tier, and let's see if we can get something really, really solid here. Oh my god, we got a poppin' off. We literally got poppin' off, but it doesn't have a camo detection. But still... Poppin' all is insane! We gotta get better camo detection. All right, let's just spend some money on some oh, some random tiers. What is this? Okay, we can sell that. That's so bad. All right, let's try this. Oh my god, we got an MAT! Oh my gosh, we literally got MAT! Okay, we're good. We're solid. We're actually good. And we can, we can ultra boost the MAT. DDTs are nothing now. We still need some better camo detection, but these random tiers, I think, are the play now, right? All right, what's this? White hot spikes. Is that worth it? No, that's not worth it. All right, look at this banana farm. Look at how much money it's made us now. Nice. Random tier. I don't really want that. Let's put that down. I think we just sell these and not worry about it. Oh my gosh, we're making so much money now. Round 85. We can actually... Let's save up for another guaranteed T5. Is that worth it? Nah, I think it's better to just go for random tiers, right? Another base banana farm? No. Okay, maybe it's not better. Okay, it's definitely not better. All right, this banana farm is making us so much money. And now we're actually getting crazy pops here. We could sell this Darling Gunner for 6,000 because this guy is not that good. He can't pop leads. He doesn't really have any faster attacking stuff. All right, we're about to go up again 95. Are we going to have the money for this? This is where this is where it really comes down. 90. Let's see how well we do. Oh, we destroy 90. Yeah, we should be able to get 10,000 before round 95. There, there we go. We can just use our ability, which is really nice. All right. I don't know if I want to keep ultra boosting this. Do I sell this? I'm not selling it. I think that's a little bit too risky here. All right, we're about to go up against 95. Let's boost this guy. Whoa, okay. All right, well, T5, come on, please be a good T5. Three, two, one, and anti-bloom, but no camo detection. Okay, we have all the firepower, but just no camo detection. We have abilities. Okay, all right, we ultra boosted this guy. And use, all right, use spam our ability. Destroyed it. Nice. Okay, a few more rounds. All right, let's keep, all right, that's good, I guess. A T6. Oh, nice. A sun avatar. Very powerful. Let's go. Look at our, okay, we just got to keep our banana farm moving along. All right, look at this thing. Oh, 500,000 pops. This MAD, which was a random tier, by the way. It only cost us $6,000 to get. How crazy is that? That is amazing that it was this cheap. We can just buy a bunch of stuff now, I think. This turned out to be very good. We can actually just sell a bunch of these, maybe, and try to get one more T5. Sell. Let's see. 24,000. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's okay. Not great. All right. BAD. Use our ability. Boom. Let's go. We defeated round 100, guys. I was really scared there, but then we got. But that turned out to be amazing. Get this random tier. Crazy luck.